Hi, this is Ms. Bouchard, and today I'm going to teach you how to calculate elapsed time by adding up on a timeline. Elapsed time is the amount of time that has passed from the beginning of an event to its end. If we know the starting and ending times, we can calculate the elapsed time between these events. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate elapsed time by adding up on an open timeline. In this problem, we know that Ms. Bouchard started shopping at 3.10. We also know that she finished shopping at 4.25 p.m we need to figure out how long she spent in the grocery store. I can make note of the starting and ending times on an analog clock to better capture the idea of how much time might have passed between my starting and ending points. The time passed between the starting and ending point will be the total elapsed time. One way that I can calculate the elapsed time is by adding up in chunks on an open timeline. First, I can start by plotting my starting point. My starting time was 310. And then I'm going to think to myself, what could I add to 310 that would get me to the next hour, which would be 4 o'clock? First, I'm going to think to myself, what could I add to 310 that would get me to 4 o'clock? Well, 50 is a friendly number. So if I add the 10 to 50, that's equal to the next available hour, which is 4 o'clock. Then if I plot my ending time, which would be 4.25 p.m., and I think, well, what's the elapsed time between 4 to 4.25? That's 25 minutes. I can then take each of these two separate time segments, the 50 minutes and the 25 minutes, and if I take those two separate time segments, and then add them together, so 50 minutes plus 25 minutes, that would give me 75 minutes. And 75 minutes is the total elapsed time. Another way to calculate the elapsed time with an open timeline is to once again start off by plotting my timeline and making note of the starting point, which is 3.10 p.m. But this time around, I'm going to add an hour to 3.10. And I know that 3.10 plus one hour would get me to 4.10 p.m. And remember, an hour is equal to 60 minutes. So once I get to that 4.10 marker, I can then think, well, what would be the difference from 4.10 to 4.25 p.m.? and that would actually be 15 minutes because if I were to subtract 10 from 25 that would be 15. So then I can take that 60 minute time segment and I can add that to 15 minutes and once again I'm going to find myself getting a total of 75 minutes which is my elapsed time. Now I can actually convert this to 1 hour and 15 minutes because 60 minutes is equal to an hour and then I have my remaining 15 minutes. So this is how you can calculate elapsed time by adding up in chunks on an open timeline.